Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am here with um, a few project shares that I have using my dies from My Crafting World Designs. Y'all know her as Anna. Now we are doing a business to business collab. So in Anna's um, website, she sells the dies, the crafting dies, cutting dies. This is what I used um, today. And of course, in my shop, I sell all the cabochons and the beads and stuff like that to go with your projects. So, I will have Anna um, website in the description box. I will have her social media, her YouTube, and her Instagram. Um, so, you can go over there and check her out. I will also have a coupon code, which is Lisa G ten. Now that coupon code will save you ten percent on Anna's uh, website for her dyes. Okay, so Lisa G ten is the coupon code. Um, yeah. So I am going to show you. This is a flower um, die, and I love it because it's small. So I love working with little small flowers. So I use that one, and then here is the armchair mini album. But that's not all of the pieces. You have all of these pieces as well. Um, I think the only pieces that I didn't use on this project may be the, I don't know if I used the buttons or not, but um, the corner pieces and the little drink glasses. But I will have my unboxing video um, in the description box so you can see everything that comes with this before I took it apart. Now, what I mentioned in that unboxing, that I would come back and show you this particular die here. Now, this is some layering pieces, you know, to make the chair look more realistic. And I was telling you how I love how all of the layering pieces is on one piece. So you don't have a bunch of little loose layering pieces because knowing me I would lose the one in the middle <laughs> but this is how the layering pieces go now these are individual layering pieces this is a stitched layering piece and then you get two of these which is your base piece so you could put this on top of this with this, or you could just do this, or you could just do this. So many different ways. It just depends on how many layers you want. So um, I just wanted to show you how that, um, the, that layering piece comes, you know, with just one die. I, I really like that. So the first thing that I made was this here. Let me come down, get rid of some of that glare. So this little mini album right here. Oh my goodness. So I just put a dangle there. I think I'm going to go back and maybe put some trim on this one here. And um, so these are the flowers right here. this set right here so it makes like a one inch flower this relax is in the chair die set this popcorn bucket and the popcorn is in the chair die set now this bunny with the little eggs those were in my stash so the bunny is just sitting there with eating the popcorn in the chair and then I just made a little 
um, spring dangle the little bunny on it now I did make <laughs> a boo-boo with this project but I'm gonna leave it because I've already got the holes I put my holes there not thinking that when I open it this way it's not gonna open flat so I didn't put anything on this ring so I'll probably just keep this album for myself so I can take this ring out and then now it will open so I didn't test it but that's okay so this is how I did this um, the first piece so I just put this little piece there and then you can put your picture there and then on this page here now this these layering pieces is the base piece and the stitched so that's what I used on these so I used that Polaroid Polaroid frame that is in there <clears throat> let me see if I can get a piece of paper <laughs> any other time I would have scraps everywhere But this is open at the top, so I can slide a picture down in there. These are the flowers. These leaves here is just a punch that I have. Um, but the flowers does come with a uh, leaf die, which is that one there. So that is the second page. These are left uh, blank. And I just used a, a spring. Uh, it's an older 6x6. Six six. I don't even know the name of it. And of course that I don't have it here. So in this one here, I just made a pocket. And I just put this little piece there. You could either journal or um, you could put a photo journal on the back. I put some little trim across there. This one, now this one here, this frame, you see that thin piece of frame there? When you cut out your layering piece die, you're going to get this. So I said, yeah, I'm not going to waste it, so I'm going to use it. So I put it on that there. Another one of the flowers. So I thought that was pretty neat there. And then on this one, I just made two pockets like this and little tuck spots. And then this is a little tuck spot here. And what I did is I just, the flower, <clears throat> that's the flower die. I didn't make it dimensional. I just used the flat pieces and I just lined them up right there with some lean. Really cute. Okay. So I'm going to turn it. This one I just did the Polaroid frame. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Polaroid frame there. And this was a page in the pad. And I just put the die across that word there to cut it out. And here's this page there. Put a photo there same thing there I just put some little flowers and here's another little um, pocket and I just put a piece of gold foil right there really springy oh I got one more page this one I just left blank and then here I just put two little squares and I'm I think these came out maybe of the Polaroid when I did it but I didn't glue this part here because whatever photo you put there, you know, you can make it fit and then you can put another photo there. And then this flower, I just layered it, but I kept it flat. I didn't, you know, curl it up or anything. 
and then that's the back that's the back right there so that is my little mini album even with my little boo-boo right there it's still adorable and i love it so i really love it okay put this back on so like i said i'll probably keep this one for myself and i'll know you know that if i ever want to flip through it to take that one off so that is my first project with the armchair and then i did another project with the armchair and i made a box i mean a bag i made a bag so here it is there and i have these pieces embossed with you know it looks like the little diamond back pattern these are some flowers that i've made in my stash and then i have this especially for you in my stash because you can put a gift in here and then i made it like a one inch thick put a little eyelet with some seam binding and the back is plain so it will stand up other than this heavy charm on the side so it's got a pretty nice size handle on it there and the little dangle on the side but i'm gonna put the dangle on the inside so you can see that it will stand up so that is my two projects that i've completed with the um armchair die and i really 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 like this die i was intimidated at first but it is a good one to have in your stash and also i'm thinking father's day this would be a great die because you know most fathers or grandfathers they have their own little personal chair so i think it would make you could make something really great for father's day with this die you know as well as you know any other um, project but to me it screams father's day so i do have a few more projects that i've been working on with anna's dies and i can't wait to come back and share those um make sure you check out the description box for the coupon code lisa g10 so you can save 10 percent off of your order on her website and her website is mycraftingworlddesigns.com i will have everything in the description box so thank you all for watching and i will see you on the next video